It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Tyler here. I've been collecting like a lot of Ultraman Blu-rays as of lately. For example, I have a copy of Ultra Q right here in a steelbook format. I also have a copy of the original Ultraman right here. There's also Ultra 7 right here, which is also pretty nice in a steelbook. There's also the return of Ultraman, then Ultraman Ace, and finally the last two are much more modern day shows. There's like, you know, Mar Ultraman Orb right here. There's like a, the sequel series to that one right here. And finally, Ultraman Taro. Now, all these releases that I show you guys have been released by a company named Mill Creek. And for the most part, the picture quality has been good, and the subtitles are actually really good. And so I have nothing to complain about when it comes down to those particular Ultraman Blu-ray releases. But more recently, I believe it was like uh, last year, that they actually released Shin Ultraman to the movie theaters. And everybody who saw Shin Ultraman to the movie theater actually enjoyed it for what it was. It was a very limited release, and unfortunately I was not there to see it in theaters. But it appears as though that the new Blu-ray release for Shin Ultraman it's not that great in terms of the quality. And here are the main reasons why it seems as though that seemed to be the case. Now, this comment right here says, I watched the official US release of Shin Ultraman by Cleopatra Entertainment, and I have to say, whoever worked on this should be embarrassed. I had a bad feeling when the opening of the movie didn't have any text translations, but it got worse. Typos. Pay breaks and HTML formatting appear constantly in the subtitles, often together. This is at best a rush job, or at worst lazy and careless. If it wasn't ready, then it should have been delayed until it was. There's no excuse. Now here's right here's like an image of what happened so far. And yeah, right here is like a typo right here. It says if this is because we we're suspected misspelling the word because right here another example is like you know right here we realize that we cannot begin to grab their secret again there's like a line right there between two and began right here for like another thing right here another example right here is like you know a little bit of eyes right here i guess maybe to show that the subtitle might actually of course supposed to be like you know not like you know right here and like another one right here is like you know again some sort of formatting issues with the subtitles. Now when it comes down to the subtitles for the YouTube release, it seems as though that the quality apparently is much better in comparison to the official Blu-ray release. So I don't understand just how in the world does the video on demand release is better than the official Blu-ray release. I mean, could it be possible to have the same sort of subtitle formatting for the official video on demand release in comparison to the Blu-ray? Whenever I review Blu-rays on my channel, I want to make sure that the Blu-rays that I'm telling you guys about on my channel has the absolute best quality. And so that's why I give good reviews to, I guess, Blu-rays that are actually in good quality and I guess bad reviews for things that are in bad quality. And I want, you know, support like, you know, as many Ultraman releases as possible. But if the quality is not that great, then I will not necessarily recommend it to you guys. And so I would recommend, I guess, you know, the Mill Creek Blu-rays that I have showed throughout the beginning of the video, but do not buy the Shin Ultraman Blu-ray until a better version actually comes out in the meantime, because it seems as though that the company actually rushed this whole entire job when it comes down to the subtitles. So I'm hoping that they re-release the, the movie again with better subtitles. So what do you guys think about this situation? Tell me in the comment section down below, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't <laughs> him for another black Because black friends are rare, as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.